Hello everybody, in my last video I make this cell and this cell is this pipe flow zinc air cell and actually this one is mechanically rechargeable by replacing the negative zinc slurry. So when this cell is discharged with the help of the pump I can replace the used negative zinc slurry with some fresh zinc slurry and the cell will start to work again. So really, really awesome. And if you want more information about this battery, then the link to this video will be in the description. Okay, in this video I will make some zinc air battery with the same concept which I have over here, but the new cell design which I will make will be a little bit more simple to make. And to make this simple zinc air battery, which can be mechanically recharged, uh, for the positive current collector, I will use this graphite plate. So this graphite plate will be my current collector for the positive side. Uh, the air cathode is made from activated carbon felt. And this activated carbon felt I will put on the top of this positive current collector. Uh, but of course, if you don't have uh, the activated carbon fat, you can also go with some activated carbon powder. Uh, and also, if you want to use some catalyst, uh, if you want to impregnate this activated carbon fat with some catalyst, for example, some manganese dioxide, uh, then the proper way uh, to impregnate this activated carbon fat with some manganese dioxide will be with some hydrothermal reaction process. Uh, so this process I will not do in this video uh, and also many people don't have uh, autoclaves for this reaction. For this reason you can also go, I mean you can also use some uh, manganese dioxide powder. Some manganese dioxide powder you put on this carbon fat. Or if you use some uh, activated carbon powder then just mix some small amount of manganese uh, manganese dioxide powder with activated carbon powder and that's it uh, so yeah now I have the positive current collector and the air cut out uh, and now I need to make some spacer some spacer which will separate the positive side from the negative side and this this spacer I will make with some normal plastic bag. Into this plastic bag, I will put. I mean, I mean, I will make several holes. And this plastic bag, I will glue on this one. So this is some neoprene rubber, and this rubber you can find really, really easily on eBay. So the finished design of this spacer will be like so. But here I will have many many holes. So now I will make this spacer.
Okay, this plastic spacer is finished, but instead of making this kind of spacer, uh, you can also use some different plastics which have really good shape, like this one, for example. You make several holes and you will be fine also with this kind of plastic or this one but the problem is that uh, thicker will be the plastic less power you will get out from the battery so in this case where I use this plastic bag is really, really thin and for this reason I will get really nice amount of uh, power out from this battery because shorter will be the distance between the positive and the negative side of the cell uh, better will be the power output of the battery uh, and now inside I will put some separator and this this plastic spacer and also this separator I will put on the positive side of the cell which is this like so and now I will put the separator and for the finish I will put also this negative zinc slurry on the top of this separator not too much because I don't want that this cell will uh, have really long discharge uh, because if I put too much of zinc slurry then in this case the discharge time will be really really big uh, and now for the finish I also need some negative current collector and the negative current collector will be this stainless steel mesh and that's it now I need to be sure that the positive and the negative side of the cell will be really really touched together like so and that's it now to this cell I will connect some loud the loud will be this drum motor uh, the current which this drum motor need is between 250 to 150 milliamps Ooh. okay Now the discharge of this cell will take some time. Finally, the cell is discharged and now I will replace this negative zinc slurry. And the battery works again. So guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.